Well, whether it's cookies for Santa or candy for the kids, we love those sweet treats during the holidays. So on this recipe Wednesday, Shannon Smith joins us live from Dewey's Bakery in Winston-Salem, where they really know how to make sweet treats, huh, Shannon? Oh, they do, Cindy. So many good things. And my son just asked me yesterday, Mom, will you make some peppermint bark this season? And then, lo and behold, I turn up here, and Mercedes Wiggleworth is showing us how to make peppermint bark. I hope he's not watching. He just really puts the pressure on. <laughs> the pressure's on. The pressure's on. Okay, so I went ahead and melted um, two bars of chocolate, mm -hmm. and I put over a nonstick um, cooking pan, and I put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes just to harden up. So once I pour over the white chocolate, it won't melt or um, blend in together. Gotcha. So I went ahead and melted my white chocolate. I have peppermint extract. I'm just going to pour that in it yes. and just mix it, make sure everything's incorporated. I didn't know that there was peppermint extract in the white chocolate just to give it a little bit more of that peppermint flavor. Mm -hmm. I thought it all came from the candy canes. Now Ooh. I've learned something new. Uh, you could probably do it with the candy canes, but I like a little bit more peppermint yes. than most do. Um, and then we're just going to pour it right over the white chocolate. And again, the hardest part of this is melting the chocolate. So yep. you do it in a bowl. Do you like microwave it, stir, microwave it, stir? Yes. In a microwave safe bowl, I would do 30-second um, increments just so you don't um, burn the chocolate because that's very important. Um, I know when I first started doing this, when I was in um, baking and pastry school, I would just put it in there for like three minutes. I'm like, it's good. Then it scorches yeah. and it smells terrible. And Lessons all that. learned. So, and stir it each time too. Yes. That's the other thing I learned. Yes. It. Stir right. it just so it doesn't um, burn on the bottom. And then once it's at a good even base, yep. we're going to go ahead and add our, um, we have our Moravian cookies. We have the hot cocoa ones. I thought it'd be nice to incorporate the yeah. Dewey's cookie in it. You can also do anything that you want, but we're going to do the cookies first. I love cookies as a part of this. That's so great. And it's the hot cocoa ones, which are my favorite. Perfect for the holiday season. And then just a little bit of the peppermint on yep, there after that. Yeah, just a that. little bit of peppermint or a lot, whatever you like. Yeah. It's up to you. You can be super creative with this. Like I said, with actually all these recipes, you can be super creative. And what I like is when, you, when it's done, it's just breaking it apart. There's no yep. real like, there's technique. A, you don't have to be like precise with it. Once this is done, just put it in the um, refrigerator for about 15 minutes just to let it harden and then just break it up. Um, you can have small pieces, big pieces, Yum. put it in a bag, give it to coworkers, yeah, neighbors. Yeah, great little gift. Yes, yeah, perfect well, thank gift. you so much. It thank smells you. delicious too. I'll have to try this since she made it look so easy. <laughs> did, did you hear what she said, Shannon? Give it to coworkers? What's that? She said, give it to coworkers. <laughs> of course you picked up on that. Okay, <laughs> okay, I get the hint. <laughs> that looks awesome. Thanks for sharing the recipe. Really good.